Jake Wenzel is from Jake Pit Wenzel Wrestling. Is, though. Yes, sir. Let's bring yep. Jake on here. Jake, first of all, good morning, man. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. All right. Now, listen, I am excited that we got wrestling cranked up again. Uh, defending champ, ACC, Buck 65. What have we done to improve from a year ago? Uh, it's been pretty difficult with the coronavirus going on, but just doing anything I can, getting workouts in over the summer, lifting, staying on program. And uh, the University of Pittsburgh, we got lucky that we have a pretty good athletic staff. So we were allowed to come into our facilities and have team workouts pretty early uh, compared to all the other schools. I think we were in, we were working out with our team in the summer while other, other schools had to wait until like September, October. So uh, we got to jump on that, but mm. just doing whatever I can to stay, stay fit and stay ready for this season. Jake, we have talked to athletes in a variety of sports uh, throughout the fall. Take us through the difficulty and the challenges of collegiate wrestling. Uh, you guys wrestled Navy last weekend uh, to a victory, twenty-two to fourteen. But let's get to get let's get to the challenges of the sport here. We've talked to volleyball, we've talked to soccer, we've talked to everybody from travel to practice to workouts. What's the biggest hurdle for you? I think the biggest hurdle for everybody in the sport of wrestling would be the the cutting weight aspect. It's, it's almost like we do two sports because if if you can't beat the scale, then you can't wrestle in the duel. So you, you have to make weight first. That's the first priority. And then get on the mat and not only just make weight, but you have to do it and be able to wrestle an hour later and feel good. So that's probably the biggest hurdle in wrestling. Jake, during the off season, you know, it's one thing to say, listen, I'm lifting weights. I'm running. I'm doing whatever cardio you watch your weight, what your intake is. I, I get all that stuff. But in terms of practice, uh, given that it's COVID, we got a pandemic, uh, keep a social distance. Mm. How do you practice? I know that sounds crazy, but how do you practice? So I, I was lucky that my high school coach actually has a club. So I, I was able to get the keys and go work out in his wrestling room. And uh, some of my roommates here at the University of Pittsburgh, I'm with them every day. So it's not like it's not like we're risking each other's safety with contact tracing or anything where we live together. So yeah. we just go down and wrestle in his wrestling room and wash the mats after when we're done, make sure we were safe. But I got pretty lucky. I know a lot of people weren't as fortunate as me being able to wrestle over the summer. And I would think, now, now call me crazy, and you can walk us through this. I would think given how everybody was, you know, you're in your home, you're in your apartment, whatever the case may be. Everybody's boxed up. You got to have all kinds of energy and frustration that you can't live a normal life. Now you get a chance to go. You got some buds. Like you said, you go hang out. I would think as a wrestler, the buildup of energy would be crazy. Like you got a chance to finally wrestle somebody during a pandemic. You'd go nuts, right? I mean, you almost got to tone it back a little bit, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it's really exciting. And, last year was last year really proved the point that you never know when your last competition is going to be with the national tournament getting pulled. So, I mean, we, we don't know what's going to happen with this season that the Navy duel could have been my last duel of the season. Mm. So, I mean, just going out there and competing, like it is my last time. I think, I think every match you need to go in with that energy, especially in these weird times. Jake, uh, obviously you won the ACC last year. You're one of the highest ranked guys in your weight class. So given the uh, uncertainty of kind of how this season may go, how precious is just the opportunity and the chance to get to do it? It means everything, just being able to get out and compete. Um, you only have a certain amount of years in your life where you're able to do this. And after college, the only thing in wrestling is Olympics which, I mean, I'm not there, so I have no aspirations of, of winning an Olympic title. So, I mean, this year and the next year is my last year to ever compete in pretty much anything physical ever again. So just cherishing every moment, it's pretty fun. I always am intrigued uh, by wrestlers and swimmers in particular uh, in terms of, of intake and, 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 and staying in incredible shape. Uh, when you have a situation where you know, hey, competition-wise, I'm not sure what it's going to look like. You mentioned the battle with the scale. 
when all of a sudden you get the holiday season, we go Thanksgiving, we go Christmas and everything else. How difficult is that as a wrestler? When, again, if somebody brings up a, a dozen donuts around me, I'm swallowing whole. But knowing the <laughs> discipline that you need to keep that weight, how tough is it during the holidays when you weren't sure what a COVID season was going to look like? I mean, you again, walk us through that from a, from a daily intake standpoint when it isn't in a routine like you guys are normally in. Um. The holidays, this was actually my first Thanksgiving in probably eight years that I was able to eat. So I enjoyed that. But uh, <laughs> it's it's not too difficult to stay away from the things that you shouldn't be eating. But, I mean, every once in a while you will slip up. Uh, it's, it's impossible to stay completely healthy the entire season. And, I mean, I don't think anybody's ever done that. I wouldn't recommend you do that. But... It's more of a you're missing out thing when you see your friends going out to eat or they're doing something. And you're like, oh, wow, I'm, I'm going to eat chicken and rice for the fifth time this week and stay in. <laughs> I'm going to tell you now, Pitt, Pittsburgh is a great food town. I don't know how you do it. But when you go to binge, like when all of a sudden you let your guard down for the first time in, I don't know, months, What what's the go-to like, hey, I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do this. Well, what is it for you? What What is that? What's the hook? Who? Pizza and chicken wings. Yeah, that's it. Yep. That's wow. It. Gets that's me every me. time. Nice. That's about me nice. four or five times a week right there, my man. Let me just tell you. I All right, Jake, here's our last question, at least from me. You're a Pittsburgh native, went to South Park. Uh, how do you feel about the Steelers this Sunday? Oh, I must say I'm not a big sports fan. Uh, it's <laughs> weird coming from Pittsburgh. Everybody's a diehard, <laughs> diehard Steeler fan, diehard Penguins fan. Um, I pretty much only watch MMA, boxing, and wrestling, so I, I couldn't even tell you who the Steelers are playing. To be honest, good. <laughs> how about go. that answer? Hopefully they win. That's it. That's what I want to hear. All right, I'm going to ask you yeah, an easier I like question. Your, I like that. I'm going to ask you an easier question because we do this with every student athlete. What has been the hardest class you've had at Pitt? The hardest class I had at Pitt was one of my first classes. I came into Pitt wanting to be a finance major, and that changed real quick when I took intro to finance. Mm. So that was definitely my hardest mm. class. Switched up my, my career path a little bit. So what did you switch to? I switched to accounting. Wow. All right. All right. So we, so we don't <laughs> let me get this right now. Pizza wings, the go-to we're in accounting, have yeah. no idea who the Steelers are playing, but let me ask you one more question. When it comes to ACC wrestling, we know NC state's building a great program. The league is really improved top to bottom. Uh, do you have a handle on the rest of the league or is it just to the point where, Hey, during this COVID thing, we just don't know. What do you mean by that? I talked about the league, top to bottom. Again, we know you guys are doing your thing, but have you kept an eye on what everybody else in the conference is going to look like for 21 in wrestling? Yeah, everybody should be pretty tough. I believe we have we have four or five of the teams out of the six in the ACC that have wrestling teams are ranked in the top 25. I think we have three in the top 10. So, mm. I mean, it's it's a pretty tough conference. I'd say probably the toughest conference in wrestling outside of the Big Ten. But as far as my weight goes, yeah. I mean, I won the ACC last year, but I lost to Kennedy Monday in the duel. I lost to Daniel or uh, Thomas Bullard in the duel. And then we got the returning national champ, Makai Lewis, coming back. So uh, some people mm. have me seated third or fourth in the ACC, and I won last year. So it'll be mm. exciting. It's a pretty competitive weight class, mm. and I'm excited to see how it turns out. Well, stay healthy, my man. Again, uh, we're rooting for all stay you guys. Good. The wrestling yep. in the league's really good. And uh, we appreciate it. Again, happy new year and stay safe. Thank you. You too.